Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's see what we have for you, Libra, who may be coming into you. Singles, new love, next relationship, next date, your future ex. I don't know, whatever we get here, we're just going to see. So this is about new love. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is below, along with tons of other stuff. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. So I'm going to do here, Libra, if you are new. With this deck, we're going to pull a card for their energy, what kind of energy this person may have. And then we'll pull one here for like their soul and their spirit energy. And then we'll get one for uh, their love energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at how you'll be feeling about one another. And then um, any blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, and possible outcome or energy of this future connection for you, Libra. Okay. So, okay, I'm feeling that one. The decks are listed below. Also, if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Tons of stuff down there. Social media links. Um, tons of stuff. And if you're new, feel free to uh, like, subscribe. All that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Right now, everyone gets about four readings a month. They're all different. There's something for everyone. So feel free to check out my channel. And hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And thank you. Welcome to the family. All right. Libra. Libra. What is the spirit and soul? We you may even get what they do for their career or what their uh, side passion is. Kind of energy. I'm feeling that one. All right. For Libra. Let's get their love energy. And then we'll piece it all together. And then we'll get into the tarot. For Libra. For Libra. What do we have for a Libra single spirit, please? Thank you so much. Sun and Rising Venus, male or female, general collective. What is the love energy of this person? What is their love energy like? Ooh, okay. Let's see what we got, Libra. What is their energy? What will their energy be like? Third eye chakra. Okay, we have somebody here who's very, very intuitive. They could be, uh, they could be a medium. They could be a psychic. Um... They trust their gut, their intuition, they're divinely connected. They can manifest anything that they want. We have 36 there, which is 9. And 9s are usually about, you know, completions and things of that nature. But I feel like this person can manifest anything they want into full completion. And this is somebody very, very spiritual, intuitive, uh, all-knowing, higher-knowing, divinely connected. They could, be, they could be a card reader. They could be a psychic. They could be... A medium, they could be anything like that, or they could have those abilities, or they could be learning those abilities, learning that they have them now, but someone very, very uh, intuitive here. And purple is all about manifestation, so I feel like they can manifest whatever they start to manifest, whatever they put into motion, they finish it to completion, is what I'm getting, because nine is all about completions. So they make things come full circle to them. They don't just start it and never finish it. They finish what they start. That's kind of what I feel. It's a good energy. And I'm getting like a lot of light from this person. So they could be very bright, outgoing kind of person also. Children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So they could be, um, they could be uh, a doctor. They could be a teacher. They could be um, a mentor to children. They could have children. But their life is affected by children in some way, shape, or form. They could have a very childlike innocence about them also, sense of humor, a childlike quality about them too. Um, maybe they tend to be a little immature in the way they act kind of energy. You know, I'm getting like someone tries to be funny, but they're not really funny all the time. I feel like they probably are a humorous, funny person, but then there's times when, you know, they may seem a little childish when they're trying to be funny it's like no nah, that's not really funny <laughs> but they definitely have a strong connection connection to children in some way shape or form and have children in their life in some way shape or form all right so they could be a pediatrician something like that also 
Okay, so let's see. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I feel like this person, uh, they give their person a chance. They don't give up. They don't quit easily. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting. Um, you know, if you do something wrong or whatever here, I, I don't think they'll... They're not going to be afraid to give you a second chance, third chance. But, you know, probably only so many chances and then that's it. But uh, this is someone who works on their partnerships. And they really give it a good go and they really uh, give it everything they have when they really, I think, like somebody and uh, fall in love. So it's kind of a good energy. Oh, okay. I'm kind of liking this energy for you, Libra. So let's see where this goes for Libra. Let's clarify this energy. All this energy that they're in. They could have just went through a very big spiritual awakening also. Now being very in tune uh, with their gifts also. Maybe it's come full circle for them now. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify this energy for Libra. This new love, incoming person, Libra singles. What is all this energy about for... How many is... Oh, that's way too many. They wanted to jump that... It was way too many. Four of Cups. So kind of feeling, I'm getting like stalemate, bored, complacent kind of energy. So let's see why that's here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Now we have the Ace of Scrolls. So there's your big awakening. This is the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. This could be, you know, the big epiphany, aha moment, a spiritual awakening also. It's a, you know, brand new beginning based on truth and clarity kind of energy, success, victory, standing up, not backing down. So, you know, they may have been through something here with the Four of Cups that left them very, um, I don't know why I'm getting nostalgic, just very uh, complacent and like, what well, was me and why did this happen to me? They might have went through like a dark night of the soul recently also. Maybe they were depressed. Then all of a sudden, boom, they had like a big awakening, epiphany, uh, like a, this big a spiritual awakening. Wow. And the Eight of Stones. So I feel like they really worked on themselves here. Really, really worked on themselves. Harnessing um, their abilities, realizing here. So we have the Five of Wands energy. So this can be about inner conflict, conflict, competition around them. I feel like maybe they fought this. <laughs> they fought this a little bit. They've just been through a big spiritual awakening or epiphany or a dark night of the soul or something like that. I feel like maybe they didn't always believe in um, this kind of stuff or whatever here. And maybe they fought it tooth and nail. Like, no, 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 no. But now we got the four spirals and the... Now we got the five. Now we got the four spirals. So... You know, this is usually my twin flame card. It could be that they met a twin flame and this gave them this spiritual awakening and maybe things just didn't work out with their twin flame. Because it does say right here, your life purpose. And usually when you meet your twin flame, you go through dark night of the soul, you go through a big awakening, a spiritual awakening, you find out what your true life's purpose is, then you work going on that direction. So... You know, maybe they fought it tooth and nail, you know, you know, this awakening and dark night of the soul. But now finally finding their mission and their purpose was working with children. You know, maybe they gave, you know, their past person so many chances and it's like, okay, you know, done working on it now. Maybe there was just a lot of uneven energy. But now I think because twin flame energies and relationships can very very be very very hard if they can't come into balance and union and sometimes when you meet a soulmate because we do have the two of cups here which is soulmate energy it's a lot lot easier than a twin flame so i feel like here you know i felt like things probably didn't work with their twin flame now they're just ready you know for a soulmate it's a lot easier i don't feel like they're going to settle i think you know they want you know, a true soulmate, because this is divine partnership here with uh, soulmate energy with the Two of Cups. So I think they're ready to come out of Twin Flame energy here and go into something a lot easier, simpler, and less complicated and find, like, a true love soulmate. 
kind of energy, if you understand what I'm saying here. Wow, this is kind of a powerful reading. All right, Libra. So let's see, Libra, okay, how you would feel about this person. Three of Cups. You may... Maybe they may tell you, <laughs> may tell you about this situation. I don't know, it'd be kind of awkward. But if they do, maybe with Three of Cups can talk about a third party. So maybe you feel like you'll be in competition with their Twin Flame. But I feel like they're ready to put that aside and just go after a true love soulmate and give that kind of a relationship a chance. I'm not feeling like they're just going to settle, but I feel like they want something true. But I think they're just tired tired of their twin flame journey, tired of... Um, I feel like they're, they've are they they've gone through their awakening, they've gone through their healing. You know, they're, maybe their twin is not woken up yet, so maybe they're more, you know, farther along than their twin. And they're like, you know what, I'm just going to do me, go in my life purpose, my life mission, do me, I'm leaving that behind, and I'm just going to go in search of true love, new love, and a soulmate. And for some reason, I don't know, three, three of cups here, can we talk about, you know, reunion, coming together, uh, uniting, having a good time. So let's see here. So we got the nine of wands. So this is about, you know, persevering and not giving up. And the King of Stones. So very stable energy here. So now we have um, Virgo energy. I feel like you want to show them, like, I think there's going to be a connection here. But for some reason, I don't know if you, like, meet this person out at a bar or somewhere, having a drink, a social setting, and somehow talk about relationships and get on the subject of Twin Flames or something like that. And they talk about that, and maybe somehow you connect over that. And But there's an energy here of king or queen here with the queen of pentacles wanting to show them how stable a true soulmate can be, fighting for that, but yet kind of feeling that three of cups. I don't always get third party, but feeling like it may be a challenge here because maybe, you know, the energy, not that they have this person in their life anymore, but the energy... Um, it's like a third party, if you know what I'm saying. But I feel like you're, you're not going to give up here. You're going to fight. You're going to show them how stable and grounded you are, how stable and grounded this could be. You know, show them, showing them that very stable, grounded um, energy, almost like the emperor or empress kind of energy. All right, so... And, you know, the king or queen here of the pentacles is usually, you know, wifey, hubby kind of material also. So let's see how they'll feel about you. Four of Pentacles. So they may... Oh, okay, let's get a couple more before I kind of uh, judge this here. Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Sagittarius energy. And the Knight of Stones. So I think they're going to want to move this you know, forward, but very slow, practically, uh, baby steps, slow and grounded energy. But this is fate and destiny. So they're going to feel like it was fate and destiny that you met. Maybe bonded over something of the situations of the past. And um, I feel like they're not going to want to let you go. But yet they're going to want to take it slow, practical. You know, slow, steady wins the race. Uh, with the Knight of Stones energy. But the, you know, Pentacle energy is usually long-lasting also. Because you, you coming out as the king, but they're just at the night. So I feel like you're more stable than they are, but yet they're stable enough that they're ready to move forward. And maybe still holding back a little bit here with the Four of Pentacles energy, you know, can be an energy of not giving, not taking, kind of being stingy or stubborn, but also can be an energy of holding on, not letting go. So they may embody both of those energies at times, but they're definitely going to feel like it was fate and destiny that you both met. It was divinely guided. And, you know, moving slowly and things will start to turn and get better as we go on, as this moves on. But you're not really not going to want to give up here, even though you could feel the energy of the past as kind of like a third party, though it's not really like a physical third party. All right, so let's see if we can get blocks and challenges here, although that kind of feels like a block and a challenge right there, but... 
let's see what else we get here. If there's any other blocks or challenges. So we have the King of Scrolls, which is the King of Swords, which is Gemini. So it's about communication. We have the Hangman, which is about pause, reflection. That's Pisces. All right. What else here for blockages or challenges for Libra? The Emperor. And I had just said that. Wow. Aries energy. Getting a lot of majors here now. And death. So Scorpio. Yeah. Let's get one more. Okay. That's a lot. Let's take. And the Empress. Wow. Okay. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. We have divine counterparts here. So you know what? Their past person could have been a false twin flame. The past person could have been a false twin flame, and they still believe that's their true twin flame. And now you guys come together, and they think, okay, this is just a good soulmate, but you may actually be their true twin flame. <laughs> wow. Because we have the emperor and the empress here. Wow. So there may be a failure here to acknowledge with the king of scrolls here, with the king of swords energy. It's about truth, clarity, um, kind of energy. So there's going to be an energy here. The block is not seeing clearly or having that clarity that this person really is my true twin flame, not my person of the past. That was a false twin flame. So, and the hangman is like gaining new perspective. So there may be block here to really see the broader scope of things, to see um, the broad picture and the new perspectives of this. And letting that past energy die and go and realize that is not my true person in the past, not my true twin flame. And transforming and transcending into this energy, which could be the true twin flame energy. Wow. Wow. That's, uh, wow, okay. I don't think I've ever done a reading like this before. That's interesting. All right, so actually, I feel like I want to get one more. So if this you know, person may need to get another big, like, Ace of Swords smacked up in the face here to have another big epiphany, almost like a tower moment, an awakening here to um, realize what this is. Yeah, somebody here is going to really, yeah. Here's the Ace of Stones. And the Empress here can be Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. Pisces, Gemini. The Knight of Stones up here is Taurus, Sagittarius. Then we have the King over here, which is Virgo. And now we have the Ace of Stones, so divinely brand new beginning. S growth, stability for the long term. This is a long term connection based on stability, growth, expansion for the future. So there's a need, going to be a need here to see that energy here. This could be actually, you guys are each are true. Maybe, you know, you thought, both of you thought your past people were your true twin flames. And, you know, now you're meeting your true twin flame. Or divine counterpart of some kind. Because the emperor and the empress is the masculine and feminine divine counterparts. All right, so let's get... Um, See if you can get advice, guidance, outcome. Wow. So we've got the chariot. So we've got cancer energy here. So this is moving forward, drive, ambition, balance, victory. Ten of swords here, though. That is about endings. So again, I'm feeling uh, in the hermit. Virgo energy again. So this is about going within, seeing the light, seeing the truth of this connection, letting old things die that need to die and moving forward in this new direction. In the sun, there's the masculine. There's the twin flame energy again. Happiness, joy, Leo energy here. Success, victory, happiness, joy, enlightenment. There's the enlightenment again right on death. So this person needing to see that come to light of letting that past die because that was not their true person. This is and having that enlightenment once again. Happiness, joy, success, victory. The sun is like shedding a tear there, saying, you know, this is your person, not that past person. Almost like crying over it. <laughs> like, can't you see this? 
Let that past go. Let it die. Let it end. This is your true happiness. What else here for Libra? Page of Spirals. So this is the um, Page of Wands. So that's good news or passionate communication. Let's see what else here. What else here? Well, Libra. And the tower, there's a tower moment. There's Aries. So the tower moment will come and they'll realize this is a divinely new, be divinely new beginning, guided, stable security for the long term. Could be the news coming in. Okay, I realize now you are my emperor, empress. Transforming, healing, and letting the past go. Realizing now with the hermit energy, doing that deep soul searching, seeing the light. Here's the light. Letting the past end and moving forward in this new uh, direction. Wow, so let's take from the bottom. All right, so let's see. We have the hero. So this is resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith. Here with the uh, full energy, which could be Aquarius. Three of spirals, so waiting, patiently waiting, ships coming in. But here's the Ace of Cups energy, brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing. Five of scrolls energy, five of swords though, not sure what to do, give up, fight on, persevere on. Is it a losing battle? I just don't know. So this person may need to go on a little self-searching journey here with the page of scrolls, uh, doing research, you know, open, honest communication, finding out truths. Maybe doing you know more research online about this type of connection here, and they may you know retreat for a while here and feel like you know, maybe it's time to give up. But here's the Ace of Cups, so here's the divinely uh, divinely guided brain of beginning in love and emotions overflowing, waiting, but then resetting back to zero, having having a leap of faith and jumping right in to this uh, new beginning kind of energy. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Libra. That's quite a reading. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.